I, I'll throw in a couple of use cases there. And our first engagement with Canton was actually in the spring. I still remember getting a call with Eric and Masha. It was, it was a very short call, but I think the two use cases that Eric gave me really resonated. And it's almost like one of those mythical light bulb moments where it's like, yes, we should be doing this. Imagine you wanted to pay your employees in stablecoin, right? It's a very, very simple use case. There's no way to do that today without everybody seeing how much everybody else is making, right? That's just a, such a simple thing that you cannot achieve on the existing rails, right? Pre-Canton. And the second portion, again, that's really exciting to us is the settlement. So again, Talos, you know, powers interactions between institutions and settlement by far is a bilateral activity, meaning that we trade with each other and then we have to settle with each other, right? There is no concept of a centralized clearing DTCC, like as you would in TradFi markets. So those settlement transfers, again, are currently very public and if you really wanted to, and I'm sure there's there's places that do this, you can actually gauge sort of the settlement flows between the various counterparties. And that information obviously is not something that you want out there because that could allow interested parties to understand your trading volumes. They can gauge your revenues from that. They can understand what your trading strategies are based on the assets that you're settling as well. So a lot of that stuff that's public should really not be public and is not public in TradFi markets. So again, I'm stealing a quote from Eric, but in this case, the transparency with blockchain is almost a bug and not a feature um, and can't address as part of that.